The district is starting with a hybrid approach, allowing that face-to-face -face interaction mixed with virtual learning, while other districts like Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, and Central Valley started online. The Mead School District delayed the start of school. Eleni Dow asked the question, why? It's a little hard because um, my kids were planning on school starting on Monday. Disappointment set in for Tanya Holmes' two children when they found out school was canceled. My 10-year-old has autism, so he likes to know what to expect and when to expect it. So it's a little harder on him when things keep getting pushed back. Holmes chose the virtual learning route for her kids this year. They're ready to start learning, having their laptops and desks all set up. But now they have to keep waiting, along with all the kids prepared to learn in person, too. Well, had this happened the second week of school versus the first, we definitely would have been able to do everybody remote. The issue, not everyone has their Chromebook. The district planned to give students their laptops the first day of school if they chose the in-person option. Only half the kids who chose the remote route picked up their laptops. Well, the fact of the matter is if you have half of your kids missing because they can't access the instruction, um, they're missing a, 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 a very real part of their education where they have, would have to get caught up somehow. Woodward says right now they're trying to figure out how to give more than 7,000 students their Chromebooks this week just in case they don't come back to school. That way next week they can all start learning remotely if they have to. The actual first day of school is still up in the air as long as the smoke is there too. But Woodward hopes it could be soon. If not, students will learn remotely to start. Hoping that this won't be a prolonged closure event, you know, but we, but we really want to be able to, at some point next week, open no matter what. Holmes just wishes the district was a little more prepared. I wish they would have um, made sure that the Chromebooks were distributed prior to the first day um, for all remote learners. But 2020 keeps throwing some curveballs. I think the planning was, was great. Hindsight is 2020, though. Had we known we were going to be in this situation, we definitely would have done differently. In Mead, Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.